I suppose, might be described as a, a working-class Conservative, someone who uh, originally didn't come from a Labour-supporting... Uh, didn't come from a Tory-supporting background. You're someone who has sort of built their way up in life. For your sort of strand of Conservatism, some might say blue-collar Conservatism, how does that sit with the richest man in Parliament becoming Prime Minister? Well, one thing has taught me, I've never looked down my nose uh, just because someone's got a bob or two. And I think you've got to see whether, whether, he's, whether he's any good at the job. And I'm confident that he will be very good at the job. You know, it, it, we, sh we shouldn't despise somebody just because they've got money. In the same, we shouldn't despise uh, uh, somebody uh, that, that, that's on benefits. Everybody's entitled uh, to be treated with respect and everybody's entitled to be given a chance to do the job to the best of their ability. And just on that point about, you know, Rishi Sunak, that focusing on the country at large, hopefully, I mean, there seems to be some confusion about the meaning of the 2019 manifesto and why the Conservatives won. Some people were saying it was because of Boris and his, his popularity. Uh, some arguing that actually there were, it was a much more kind of small c, low tax uh, manifesto than has been let on. Whereas others, as we've discussed today, actually think it was uh, much more about interventionism, Brexit and uh, you know, transforming the economy in the interests of, uh, of so-called left behind communities. On that sense of, of what... The, what, what Rishi Sunak should be doing in terms of policy. What, what, what do you think that is? Well, I think the most important thing to recognise, I come from someone who was born in Yorkshire, is that if you're going to level up, you can't level up a region as a whole. You've got to really target those areas of, de of uh, deprivation and poverty. You know, take a place like Manchester, which is a very wealthy city, and yet with a short walk of the city centre, there'll be people that are totally alienated uh, from uh, the improvement that's occurred in, in, uh, in Manchester. You need to include those communities, and those communities often lack uh, communications, they often lack skills, uh, they often lack uh, opportunity, and most of all, they lacked a monument to, to success. So to be successful, it, it isn't about a, a number of grand projects, you know, improving uh, Leeds, improving Manchester. You've got to ensure that the towns around them and the communities around them are also uh, uh, improved and, and seen to enjoy prosperity. Mm -hmm. Well, Lord Pickles, thank you so much for your perspective this morning on GB News. We really, really appreciate it. And uh, no doubt we don't have long to wait to see what indeed Mr Sunak's cabinet will start to look like. Well,